My name is Gianfranco Morelli. I'm an electrical engineer, energy physical engineer. I formed my company Geostudi Astier uh, in 1999 and uh, I've been applying GPR for over 19 years to most of the possible applications starting from cultural heritage, uh, utility mapping, environmental engineering, civil engineering, uh, road analysis, railway analysis, tunnel analysis. Uh, we have also been very active in the development of multi-antenna systems, working first with GSSI for a few years and then starting the collaboration with IDS in 2009 and contributing to the development of the stream type of systems. We decided to buy the Stream C in 2017 uh, mostly because it provides a very compact uh, way to deploy both uh, vertically polarized antennas and horizontally polarized antennas. The spacing in the array is, is extremely good for applications ranging from uh, shallow pipe mapping uh, to civil engineering. Uh, we have recently applied it also for bridge analysis in some applications in southern Italy. And for sure it provides uh, a very good tool for the quick analysis of the top, uh, let's say, 150 centimeters of, of soil and infrastructures. Um, of course, the main feature is also the fact that it allows to scan only in one direction as the other types of stream systems. In this case, the, the density of the horizontally polarized antennas is also very good. So basically, there is a possibility to obtain uh, 3D images of two different polarizations with a very quick uh, type of survey. Currently, there is a very strong demand of surveys for the installation of fiber optic networks. So the analysis of a swathe of soil that is probably one meter wide and one, one and a half meter deep. And of course the stream seal, but the way it's built is, is probably the most suitable equipment right now in the market. So that's for sure the, the mainstream application for, for this equipment. We noticed that it can have an enormous uh, interest in scanning bridges. We actually tested it also on the side of bridges, not just on the deck. The quality of the images is very high. There is a possibility to integrate the, the dual polarization antennas to create uh, like an integrated image that shows the position of the rebars. Of course, the, the frequency is not so high, so we cannot use it to detect a single rebar, but there is a chance to, to improve the analysis and use it for uh, the screening of the general corrosion on, on bridge decks. We have also tested it on tunnels by deploying the antenna on a mechanical arm and the response when, when the antenna was facing the tunnel liner was extremely promising. Of course, this needs more uh, in the future, but it uh, confirms the high quality of the, of the antenna type. The benefits are mostly uh, due to the fact that it's a compact system that allows to scan in a single direction. This saves a lot of time to practitioners in many fields of applications. I can tell you, for example, recently we have used it for the scanning of the Grand Plus in, in Brussels, in the very center of Brussels. And we were able in one day to cover more than 10,000 square meters of urban uh, soil with a, a very high complexity. And this it would be impossible to do with any other system at the density of antennas and the spacing that the stream C is ensuring. So, 
you have to look at the possibility not only in using it for rectilinear analysis of pathways of, uh, of, pi of pipelines or new installations, but there is a chance to use it also to create maps of the top uh, 100, 150 centimeters of soil in urban environment, which has a variety of applications in the maintenance of cities for archaeological applications, for uh, the analysis of pavements, and um, general view that it's not just a point map. The workflow depends also on how you deploy a system and a team of specialists in the field. Uh, right now there is a chance to just reach the site with a van, uh, download the unit that is ready to go just uh, plug in a GPS or a total station and start the work. Uh, the software on Vision is allowing to monitor in real time the time slices and the sections and the quality of the data. It's rather easy and quality control can be done quickly after acquisition of data. So this will allow a development of procedures that will make our work at a high level, so meaning with a high density of antennas, high resolution, but available also to users that are not uh, exactly professors or super specialists. So I think this can change the productivity and the efficiency of, of many companies that are applying GPR, especially in urban environments.